Hey guys, this is John. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. As you can see, the venue for this video is a bit different than normal. I'm over here at Lebanon Hills Regional Park in Egan, Minnesota. It's an awesome park if you're ever in the area. It's got miles and miles of trails, lakes, canoes you can rent. You can go get lost in the woods for a few hours as I'm currently doing. It's great, so check it out if you ever happen to be in the area. So this video is directed mainly at the new people to my channel. So those of you who have been subscribed in the past few months, uh, those of you who have watched a ton of my videos might know this already, but I wanted to speak to those of you who are getting into chess and you're pro if, I'm, if I'm right, you probably are the type of player who hasn't stepped foot in a tournament hall, but you're like an enthusiastic amateur. Uh, you love the game, you're trying to get better, and I know there's a lot of you out there. So when I put in the title, don't copy other YouTubers. What I mean is in terms of the time controls that you see myself and other YouTubers play, okay? Because if you check out the average chess video online where it's a let's play video, the author is playing and commentating as they go, uh, what are the types of time controls that you see most often? Well, it's certainly the fast time controls, the bullet games like one minute per side or blitz games like three or five minutes per side. Very rarely do you see the standard games. And I know I play some on my channel and there are some YouTubers like Tony Rotella, hello Tony, who specialize in standard, but by and large you just see the really, really fast games, Bullet and Blitz. And it has to be said because I cannot make this explicit enough. If you wanna improve, do not play fast chess as your main uh, time control for improvement, okay? That's just not gonna cut it. You're not gonna get better efficiently playing just bullet and blitz. I mean, sure, you might get a little bit better over time, but that's not the proper way to tackle your chess improvement. You need time to think. You need to be able to spend a couple minutes at the very least on a critical move in a game. And the reality is in bullet, you certainly can't do that. And in blitz, you're probably gonna be losing a lot of games on time if you do that. Okay, so play a minimum of 15 minutes per side or longer, preferably with an increment. You've seen me in some of my standard videos play uh, two second increment. I think even a larger increment than that is better. So if you can play like 10 seconds or more, and also if you can increase the base time control, like play 30 minute games or 45 minute games, there's a great league on leechess.org, which has a 45 plus 45 time control. It's a team format. That's awesome. You can play like one serious game per week. You're going to get more out of that one game than you would like 20 blitz games. Trust me, because you actually have a chance to emulate a real-world tournament time control. So that's what I say when I mean don't copy other YouTubers. Uh, there's probably other things I can think of that you should not do. This is kind of a do as I say, not as I do video, but the time control uh, is just the big one, okay? And for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while and are experienced players, try to recommit to yourself to play more serious games online. So try to play more of those standard games and cut down on your blitz and bullet. You know, one really good thing to do, if you're ever having a, a, down, a downswing in your results, look at the time controls you're playing, play less games, and increase the time control. And seriously study those games too, because I bet if you do that, you'll probably see an improvement in your results. And your thinking will be clearer, you will learn more in the process. So anyways, thank you guys while I semi-rant on time controls. Remember to play those long games. And also if you've been employing this for a while, maybe let me know how you've done in the comments. I'd love to hear from you if you're on a, a standard or classical time control chess diet. All right, I'm gonna go because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Um, yeah, I've already got one battle wound right here. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon again with another video. Bye guys.